Hello, welcome to this ear training video. This is going to be a little bit different. It's just about finding Do or scale degree one or the tonic or whatever you like to call it, the main note of the major scale. And I'm going to give you just a couple of context clues. So please do use timestamps if you want more of a challenge later on. I'm going to do a couple different formats. I'm going to start with doing a one five one or one five seven one chord and then um, your job is just to t find the tonic, maybe hum it, and then I'll give you the answer of the tonic so you can see if you're correct. The second section I'll just do 5-1. In the third section I'll do 5-7 chord only, so a dominant 7 chord, and you can find the tonic from there. And then in the last section I'll just give you a 5 chord with no 7, um, so you can find Do from there. Um, just thinking about finding it in all different contexts. I have no idea how useful this will be, so tell me, please, if you do find it useful. I'll give lots of examples of each of these. Do use timestamps if you find, like, the first section is getting too easy, you're ready for the next part, um, and hopefully you'll find this very useful. So, let's get started. In this section, I'm going to play uh, one, five, one, chords, and then I'll, after a few seconds, play the tonic for you. Um, I'll walk you through this first one. So here's the sound example. And then in your mind, I would say use either the bass or the top note that's going to tell you, this is the first note of the scale. Um, so you would hum it, and then I would give it to you. So, here's example two. I'll try to use different chord voicings in this, too. And here's the tonic. Next example. Here's the tonic. Next example. And here's the tonic. So in that one I had the fifth on the top. Next example. Here's the tonic. Here's the next example. And here is the tonic. That one ended with the third on the top. Here's the next example. And here's the tonic. Next example. Here is the tonic. Next example. Here's the tonic. Next example. And here's the tonic. Next example. And here is the tonic. Next example, and here's the tonic. Next example, here's the tonic. Next example, and here is the tonic. Next example. And here's the tonic. Next example. And here's the tonic. Next example. And 
here's the tonic. Next example. Here's the tonic. Next example. And here's the tonic. Next example. Here is the tonic. Next example. Here's the tonic. Next example. Here's the tonic. Next example. And here's the tonic. And last example for this sequence. And here's the tonic. Okay, for this section, I'm just going to play the five and then the one. Hopefully you can infer the tonic from there. I realized I didn't number the examples um, verbally in the last section, but I will in this section. So here we go. Here is example one. And here's the tonic. Example two. Here's your tonic. Example three. Here's your tonic. Example four. Here's the tonic. Example five. Here's the tonic. Example six. Here's your tonic. Example seven. And here's the tonic. Example eight. And here's the tonic. Example nine. Here's the tonic. Example 10. Here's the tonic. Example 11. Here's the tonic. Example 12. Here's the tonic. Example 13. Here's the tonic. Example 14. Here is the tonic. Example 15. Here's the tonic. Example 16. Here's the tonic. Example 17. Here's the tonic. Example 18. Here's the tonic. Example 19.
Here's the tonic. Example 20. Here's the tonic. Example 21. Here's the tonic. Example 22. Here's the tonic. Example 23. Here's the tonic. And example 24. And here's your tonic. In this section, I'm going to only play a 5-7 chord, a dominant chord, and your job is to figure out the tonic from there. Because all of these chords will have a 7 in it, that means they're all going to have a tritone. Let's do example 1 together. So, 5-7 chord is going to sound like this. What I would do is, if you can, pick out the place where there is tension. Notice where the leading tone is. So the tritone is always going to be between the fourth and the leading tone. Find the note that really wants to go up. And that is your tonic. So let me play that again for you. Here's the 5-7 chord. And your tonic is going to be here. So that was one in first um, inversion. I'm going to play all different kinds of inversions, or at least attempt to play all kinds of inversions for you. So here's example two. And here is the tonic. Example three. Here's the tonic. Example four. Here's the tonic. Example five. Here's the tonic. Example six. Here's the tonic. Example seven. Here's the tonic. Example eight. And here's the tonic. Example nine. Here's the tonic. Example ten. Here's the tonic. Example 11. Here's the tonic. Example 12. And here's the tonic. Example 13. Here's the tonic. Example 14. Here's the tonic. Example 15. Here's the tonic. Example 16. Here's the tonic. Example 17. Here's the tonic. Example 18. Here's the tonic. Example 19.
Here's the tonic. Example 20. Here's the tonic. Example 21. Here's the tonic. Example 22. Here's the tonic. Example 23. Here's the tonic. Example 24. And here's the tonic. So in this last version of this exercise, I'm only going to play um, a major triad, which is going to serve as the five chords. So um, for example, if we have, for example, one, this one, we kind of have to, there's a couple of different strategies. You can think um, finding the root. And you can go up the scale four degrees if you want. One, two, three, four. And that would be the um, tonic of that dominant. You can also just, if you have your um, perfect fourths really well, um, really well orated, I guess. You can think five, one. I think that's the biggest strategy I would have. I think the really important part is to find the root, regardless of the inversion of the chords. So I'm going to try and play a couple of different inversions for you so that you can be challenged in that way as well. So let's try example two. And here's the tonic. Example three. Or here's the tonic. Example four. Here's the tonic. Example five. Here's the tonic. Example six. Here's the tonic. Example seven. Here's the tonic. Example eight. Here's the tonic. Example nine. Here's the tonic. Example 10. Here's the tonic. Or this one. Example 11. Here's the tonic. Example 12. Here's the tonic. Example 13. Here's the tonic. Example 14. Here's the tonic. Example 15. Here's the tonic. Example 16. 
Here's the tonic. Example 17. Here's the tonic. Example 18. Here's the tonic. Example 19. Here's the tonic. Example 20. Here's the tonic. Example 21. Here's the tonic. Example 22. Here's the tonic. Example 23. Here's the tonic. And finally, example 24. And here's the tonic. So I really hope you found that practice useful. I have a couple different plans for future ear training videos, including finding other notes that are in, um, in the one and five chords. Also, I had a suggestion for um, writing out passages or um, to be able to audiate passages. So I'm, gonna, I'm still trying to figure out how exactly that would work, but please keep an eye out or an ear out, I guess. And you know, if this helps you, tell other friends that are looking to get better at ear training. And um, until next time, stay mindful, stay musical, stay out of trouble.